Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Out This Week. I'm your host, Brian Sutfield. I'm so happy that you guys enjoyed episode one. If you haven't checked that out, please check it out and tell me what you think. Let's just get started with episode two. There's a lot of stuff coming out this week as well. More limited releases than wide releases, though. At least I think. I got stuff here on this paper, so I don't know if there's more wide releases or limited releases. We'll have to see. Now, Everest and Pawn Sacrifice are expanding this week. I did see Everest. My review is up. I really liked Everest. Um, I didn't think it was fantastic. I didn't think it was bad. I really liked it, though. It was visually beautiful. If you guys are unable to see an IMAX 3D, try your best to find an IMAX figure near you. Go see it. Or see it in regular 3D. Don't see it in 2D. I don't know what it's like in 2D. But I do think that the performances were very strong. I think the visuals were amazing. Cinematography was fantastic. The first half of the film was just fine. But once the storm hits, it gets better and better and better. And you're on the edge of your seat. Like, it's really good. The second half of the film is fantastic. But I would say go see it just for the visuals. And um, if you really have no interest in seeing this, I do suggest you should go see it. Like, it's a very interesting story. And I thought it was told very well. Pawn Sacrifice, I have not seen yet. I don't know if I'll be able to see this in, in the theater. There's too many movies coming out. I don't have time to see everything. I try to see everything, but I can't. But I've heard good things. I really have heard a lot of good things about this movie. And um, I'll try to see this when it comes out on cable. If I can see it in the theater, I'll definitely give you guys a review for it. So look forward to that. But the movies that are coming out this week like that are new this week. We got Hotel Transylvania 2. The sequel to the surprising hit Hotel Transylvania, which I really liked. I thought it was a very nice family-friendly movie. I thought it was the best thing that Happy Madison has done this decade so far. Um, I thought Adam Sandler and the game were good voice choices for this film. And the sequel looks nice. It looks like a cute film. It looks like something that kids are going to enjoy. Because there's like a family-friendly film. Then there's like a more like adult type of movie then there's a hardcore horror movie that's coming out so like, there's a lot of interesting stuff coming out this week but yeah i would say halt of the 2 looks very good i like the story idea and i i don't know like i there's a particular moment in the trailer where um dracula does a funny face you'll watch that clip right now i don't know but yeah halt of the 2 looks very cute i'll probably check it out if not i'll probably see it on cable the intern Starring Robert De Niro and Anne Hathaway. It's directed by Nancy Myers, who directed The Parent Trap, Something's Gotta Give, and It's Complicated. Doesn't really look like my cup of tea. I love De Niro. If you ask me who are my favorite legendary actors, like after this past 70, I would say De Niro, Hoffman, Pacino, Morgan Freeman. There's a few people I could think of, but De Niro, I still think is a legend, even though he's kind of gone downhill within the last few years. I think this looks like a movie that he's not phoning it in. For a paycheck. I do think that this is an interesting movie for him. I like Anne Hathaway as an actress. I think she's a good actress. I don't like her as a person. I don't know. I just think she doesn't come off as someone very nice. But it looks like someone that older people will enjoy. I'm sure there might be someone my age that likes this movie. And I'm not going to be mad. You Will I see this? Probably not. I've been here in mixed things, so I don't know if I'm going to rush out to see it. If I do see it, I'll probably see it at a But yeah, Intern looks okay. And then the final wide release we have is The Green Inferno, directed by Eli Roth. This movie looks fucking crazy as hell. I mean, this movie has had some production issues. Like, the filming for the movie went fine. It went fine. But what happened was, this movie was originally supposed to come out last September. I remember when this movie was coming out, I was super excited for it. I didn't watch any trailers. I just looked at the poster and I'm like, that looks fucking cool. But what happened was, there were some financial issues, and less than a month before the movie came out, they had to pull the release. So then, uh, I believe earlier this year, Blumhouse picked it up, and now it's being released. Here it makes sense about this film too, I think Eli Roth's a very interesting director. He's not someone that I really care for personally. I do like the Hostel films. I do like Cabin Fever. I'm curious about his upcoming film, Knock Knock, with Keanu Reeves. I think this looks pretty interesting about the whole cannibal stuff. That's really all I know about the film. I've seen the trailer before, but I don't really remember it that well, so I can't say what the basic premise is. Yeah, these kids get trapped on an island, and then there's cannibals. It sounds fucked up. I'm really pumped to see it. I really hope I get to see this movie. I'm trying. I'm going to try to go see it with my friends. It's going to be a fun time. It's going to be a hell of a great time, I believe. Even if I don't end up enjoying the film, I know that will be fun sitting through with my friends eating popcorn and then watching everybody scream. I think it's going to be a fun time. So now let's go to the limited releases. 99 Homes, starring Andrew Garfield, Laura Dern, and Michael Shannon. 
This film looks fantastic. I'm hearing so many good things about this movie. It's a very different role for Andrew Garfield from what I've seen. He's playing a father. That there is just crazy because last year, Mr. Spider-Man 2 came out and he played the teenager. That's crazy. I think Andrew Garfield is a terrific young actor. Ever since I saw The Social Network, I've been so excited to see whatever else he does. I liked him as Peter Parker in Spider-Man. I thought he was one of the best things about those two films. Um, I'm so excited to see him in Martin Scorsese's upcoming film, Silence. I heard great things about this movie. And Michael Shannon is terrific. He knocks every role out of the park. I even liked him as General Zod. I liked him as Zod. Deal with it. But this movie looks excellent. It expands on October 9th. I don't know much about this movie. I don't really remember the plot. I kind of have an idea, but I don't want to spoil it for people who don't really know the plot. I can't wait to see this. I'm really excited to see this. Mississippi Grind. This stars Ryan Reynolds and Ben Mendelsohn. It's from the guy who directed Half Nelson, which is a great film starring Ryan Gosling, which he got an Oscar nomination for. It's a gambling movie. Gambling movies aren't really my thing. But I love Ryan Reynolds when he does indie films. And Ben Mendelsohn's terrific. I'm so excited to see him in Rogue One. I mean, he is awesome, Ben Mendelsohn. I do not watch Bloodline. I plan on watching that soon. I hear he's amazing on that show. But I'm really excited to see him in Rogue One. I'm excited that more people will finally get to know who he is. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Mississippi Grind. It should be interesting. And then the last woman release we have is Stonewall, directed by Roland Emmerich, the guy who made Independence Day, White House Down, 2012, The Patriot, all these big action blockbuster type films this is about the stonewall riots i don't want to be mean but the film doesn't really look that great in my opinion it looks like it's overdoing the um it's trying to rub homophobic stuff in your face it really is and it kind of pisses me off i'm not a homophobe okay i support everyone lesbians gays bisexuals transgenders i support all those let people be who they want to be okay people should be who they want to be whatever race sexuality they want to be let them be whatever they want to be i haven't heard any good things about this movie i hear this film was whitewashing the real events that happened which is kind of sad it stars a kid from warhorse Remember that movie War Horse? Speaking of work, pretty underrated film, a good film. But it doesn't look good, in my opinion. I have zero interest in checking out this movie. I hear it has a very low rating on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm not looking forward to this movie at all. But yeah, those are the releases that are coming out this week. Guys, tell me down below what you thought of this episode of Out This Week. Tell me what movies you're looking forward to that are coming out this week. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys soon.